Hi, my name is Paula from Creative Expressions and today I'm going to be showing you a Cinco de Mayo junk journal. Cinco de Mayo is about two weeks from now. I will be putting this journal up for sale uh, on my Etsy shop. It'll be up there by tomorrow morning and um, I'd just like to share the names with you of um, some of the ladies that I've been listening to on YouTube, watching and listening to. It's Gail Agostinelli, Diane H., Nick the Booksmith, Alia de la Pina, Patricia Viramontes, and Amity Bloom, and much, much more. Uh, but these are the ones that I've been listening to the most. And I'll go ahead and put their links on my um, description of the video because uh, like I said I've been listening and watching them the most so anyway I said this was a Cinco de Mayo junk journal and that would be of course the, the 5th of May it's got a tassel of several uh, you know different colors on here. I did put a red white and green. I'm tying this together with red and green The background is denim the top is green white red I had a blast completing this because of the the Mexican um, magazine that I was able to find with a lot of information about Mexico in English and I made a tag cards out of it so okay, it, it, it's been a lot of fun to create so anyway here I went ahead and placed the Mexican bingo card just to give it more color and I had already uh, glued the denim or and sewn the denim and the lace on here but I really wanted this uh, to make it sturdier and make it more colorful on here I went ahead and used the green uh, ribbon red button and then a paper clip that I went that is it's got a white little flower on there I put a tag that could be written on and I did I use decorative paper to uh, that I sewed on there and put some twine throughout this junk journal you'll be able to see some Spanish words in case you want to uh, beef up your Spanish language or if you don't know Spanish at all and would be interested in vocabulary cards here they are this is what I used to use in my classroom not too long ago la silla the chair I just thought they looked very colorful and it was nice to have things in the Spanish language in here this is a picture of uh, a market in Michoacan, Mexico, and I just glued it on here because it's so the colors are so vibrant and so beautiful. But it's uh, Mexican crafters uh, in Michoacan, and these are all paper mache um, crafts that they created and, and have at a market. I went ahead and put some trim, it's just gold, I just wanted to give it a little bit more color. On here, you'll notice that I went ahead and sewed some more trim on here, and it's little flowers, and I used black thread. This is some of the, the um, lace that my mother gave me. I put a green ribbon on there with some twine through it. I went ahead and you, uh, the vocabulary word, los zapatillas, or no, las zapatillas, and... Um, red shoes you'll see the the English word up here at the top so uh, that you'll know what it is if you don't know the Spanish language and I'm not saying this uh, junk journal is for English speaking individuals only it's for anyone and everyone but um, this is another tag card and it's I sewed it on here I sewed some decorative paper on there put some red ribbon on there there's a lot of writing areas in this journal but I did go ahead and put quite a few cards in here also. 
I loved the setup of this. This is uh, some red uh, folder that I cut up and just made it into a little tuck in here and put some lace or trim on here. And then this is a picture of Porfirio Diaz. He was one of the dictators in 1877. And then this is a picture of La, La Virgen or the Virgin and it gives information about uh, how people see her in Mexico and it talks about Christmas also. So this is a, a larger card and then it's got, I've got several of the pictures of, of several of the leaders or presidents of uh, Mexico and I, I thought it was just really cool to be able to find uh, that information. I have, I believe these came from Amity Bloom, by that I mean uh, the idea. It's, you know, you can just lift it up here and write on here and cover it up in case you're writing something secretive but uh, it is the green fabric red button white lace that I sewed on there I did coffee dye all of these pages and I'm getting much better at coffee dyeing my paper this tag is uh, Benito Juarez and their pictures are very nice here, I believe. And he was an Indian that was fighting for change in Mexico, especially at the very beginning. And so his picture is in there with uh, more information about him. And then this card here has information about El Chocolate or how the Aztecs discovered um, the cocoa beans and so forth. But some writing, some writing and they can be tucked in here. This is a beautiful, colorful page that I got out of the magazine that I'm talking about. It, it, this lady has a shawl. This is her face right here. This is her hair and ribbon. And with her, she's carrying a Mexican baby. It's a Mexican Indian woman, and you'll see the colorful uh, shawl on the back part of this page. This gives Mexican history, so I didn't want to cover this because it can be read rather easily. More trim, I love, I've got some trim with flowers and then some with little hearts. My sister was nice enough to let me borrow some of her trim. The vocabulary card for rojo, color red, and then another little tag card that I've got on here. I sewed the decorative paper on there and uh, put some red uh, ribbon on there, some of the Mexican lace that my mother gave me, and there's a lot of writing areas in there. These pictures I particularly love because I was able to go ahead and make a little envelope or tuck right here with some uh, lace. Uh, but it shows a picture of Zapata and then Pancho Villa. They're small pictures, but I thought it was rather nice uh, the way they were able to put both pictures in there and then to give us some of the history about these two men. And it also, this one gives us uh, information about one of the Spanish, Spanish missionaries and how he was trying to recruit people into Catholicism. And uh, this is... Um, the red ribbon, and by the way, just for information, I am not an expert on Mexican history, by the way. I do teach Spanish, or did teach Spanish and English in the public school system, but in no way am I an expert in Mexican history, or American history for that matter. But anyway, red uh, fabric along with a green button, white lace that I sewed on there, this can be written on right here. I just love the way uh, coffee dyed paper looks. It just looks so pretty. And this a picture of the Mexican flag and it gives a history and tells us more about the Mexican flag. This right here, vocabulary card, the number 10, the S, and then I created a little uh, folder so more thoughts could be written in here or more information. I did put a little bit of washi tape. I need to use more of that. I like the way it looks. But anyway, more writing area and then a vocabulary card. Right here, you'll see a picture of Mexican food, Mexican dance, and it gives more information here. I just glued it on there 
Yeah, and we can tuck a little something in there and then uh, some more trim on here. This is a postcard. You'll see more on the back side, but it's postcards from Mexico. This one in particular has the word vaqueros on here, talking about the Mexican uh, cowboy. This part of the paper in the magazine starts giving us um, some recipes. This one in particular is for quesadillas, and it talks about the tasty treats of Mexico. This part right here has a little bingo card, Mexican bingo card of uh, El Bandolón. And then it's got, I put a little tag in here, just made it into a tech spot and put a little tag where I sewed some decorative paper and it can be used as a journal card and some red uh, lace on there or ribbon on there. And then some more red trim on here. This one has some sequins on there, so it kind of looks like it's red, white, and then it's got some green in the sequins. Um, it, it's just beautiful, so I had to sew it on there. Another card of the Mexican flag from the Mexican bingo and another little journal card that I sewed some decorative paper on white fabric or material on here for more writing uh, trim red trim on here and then vocabulary card and chocolate chocolate and then um, a journal card that I sewed some decorative paper on and this is a little um, little envelope that I decoupaged on where more tags can be put in there so I, I've left a lot of paper for writing and a lot of uh, decorative colors in here here are some more uh, postcards Cancun and it's got some more information on there here it talks about Mexican history in 1845 and then talks about the Alamo. So it's all in here. Another vocabulary card, duck, el pato. I've got to stop being a teacher. And then, okay, another card that someone can write on. I, I went ahead and sewed this on here. Green. This is transparent uh, trim or lace right here. This is green thick lace that I sewed on there or ribbon and it's a paper clip with a little flower silk flower on there. Some more red um, cardstock, another vocabulary word for the number one. And then I love this picture of mariachis dressed in their white uniforms, not black, but white, and it just looks so nice. Of course, this can be written on in the back also. You can see the coffee dyed paper, how I'm beginning to be pretty good at creating some impressions on there. And then we've got some of that lace that has sequins on it. Right here, I created another pocket. It's got a picture of um, Hernán Cortés, the explorer, in 1519, and some information about him. Um, this talks about how land was not given to the poor at the beginning. It wasn't until the 1900s that uh, some of the Mexican Indians were given some land. This uh, talks about Miguel Hidalgo, independence, how we can't confuse Mexican independence, which occurred on uh, the 16 of September, how it can't be confused with Cinco de, de Mayo. Uh, Cinco de Mayo is at the, about the battle of Puebla between the Mexicans and the French, and of course the Mexicans won. Here uh, is another activity that ca you can fill in the blank and, you know, just a little puzzle in there. It gives you the, the recipe for flan. Here, I was going to put decorative paper. I didn't do that. I liked the, the vintage look of all of this and the, the vibrant colors, but maybe I should put something to cover it. I loved this picture because you've got your Mexican folkloric dancers and then the, the mariachis back there. And I went ahead and put, oh, El Chico, the vocabulary card for El Chico. And then, of course, a little uh, female would be La Chica. 
And then here, I loved the doilies. I, I coffee dyed them too, folded them over, and glued this one on to red cardstock. It can be used as a tuck in there. This is the, the little blue um, lace or ribbon that I used to hold the signature together. There's about 30 papers or pages, 40, I believe, 40 pages in all um, in this um, junk journal. I used another little doily in here and some cardstock to, to use as a little tuck in there. This one is like a taco. I used the doily and glued it on some cardstock and put it on here. I didn't cover this and I'm thinking maybe I should have. I don't know. This is the other side of um, the Mexican acrostic. It's got the the piñata on here, and it's got more reading titles, children's books on Mexico, adult books that can be read about Mexico. Here is that little red lace with sequins on it and some more white lace on top of it. And then on this page, um, I just left it blank, but I did go ahead and glue this piece of cardstock or red manila folder on here and you know it can be opened up and and more writing can occur there more papers can be put in there here's a vocabulary card for the number two here is a little envelope that i went ahead and um and used a tissue on and put some bling on there and I do have a little card or a little notebook in there that uh, can be written on the back side. It's cardstock but I went ahead and decorated it with some denim paper that I got at the Dollar Tree. I put that decoupage is what this is and then um, green ribbon lace that I sewed on there with white thread. And then another envelope, decoupaged envelope. I don't remember. I don't think anything is in there. Some more Mexican lace with a little pocket. Some more information about the Mexican-American War in 1836. And then it does talk about border fences. Um, and really what was true some time back is still true today. But anyway, you've got some more postcards, Mexican postcards here. And then you've got uh, some, uh, I made a pocket out of denim, had some extra denim. So cards can be placed in there or pockets can be placed in there. Another, um, I used the, the lace here for another tuck. Or pocket and then here's another little uh, piece of lace or ribbon that I put on there this I love because I was able to use the Mexican um, Mexican bingo instead of using the full card I just went ahead and cut a little piece of it or one row of it and was able to uh, make it and turn it into a, a belly uh, band there and then this talks about the Mexican piñata and it gives directions or the steps that you can follow to make some uh, piñatas on your own. You've got Veri Veracruz, picture of a hat seller, and it again talks more about the Mexican history. A lapis or the pencil, and then uh, a picture of a mural and about some of the Mexican artists. And uh, it's got, there's a silk flower here with another paper clip. Another row of the chalupa, the Mexican bingo, and I put a card in there of El Musico, and the Musico is right there. These can be, you know, put anywhere. I just thought I'd go ahead and match them up. And then this is another little pocket um, in which um, more cards can be tucked in there. And then another one in here. I love using denim in these journals. It just ends up looking so nice. And the, the marks on here uh, of the coffee. 
more Mexican words here. You know, you can really learn a lot of Spanish if you want to or practice your Spanish. La sandia, the watermelon. Here's a picture of the watermelon. Some more red trim on there. And then you've got more lace, another tuck in there, a little pocket, more information here. And then this is the bottom part of the Mexican Indian. It talks about how they make up one-fourth of Mexico's population. They speak over 50 different languages, and it lists them, or some of them. And then it talks about how she's carrying a, a baby. And uh, again, the colors are just beautiful. And then I can see the marks with the other pages that I went ahead and put on top of this one when I was coffee dyeing them. And it, it just looks so pretty. Here's some more of the Mexican bingo card, you know, part of it anyway. Turned it into a little uh, pocket there. And then more Mexican uh, trim. You can really tell the paper has been coffee dyed or it looks old, vintage. Here's another uh, page, free for journaling. Another vocabulary card for El Libro. Some more of that page from Michoacan that had the, the beautiful pictures uh, of the crafts, paper mache crafts. The colors are just beautiful. Another paper clip with um, a little silk flower on there. And then um, a free page on here for writing or pictures. And then here's El Musico again. Another uh, card of the Mexican bingo. And again, there's denim behind there and lace, green, white, and red. And um, the, the card on top of that. This is the back part of the cover. Again, green trim or lace. This is definitely lace and ribbon, white, and then I've got some uh, red with the little sequins on there, denim on the back. This is the, the tassel. So I had a blast making this journal because it was a lot of fun. And I did make it rather uh, chunky, but it'll work. You can just tie it up with this. It will be on my Etsy or in my Etsy store if any of you are interested. It should be there by tomorrow. Um, Cinco de Mayo Junk Journal. Thank you for sitting and joining me. I appreciate it. My name is Paula from Creative Expressions. And um, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be making many more journals probably with some of the Mexican uh, heritage influence. I can't help that. Uh, not that I want to. It's just fun. It makes the, the journals, you know, that we create. All of us have different stories, different uh, heritages and so forth, but uh, it's fun. So thank you so much. Uh, have a good evening, and I shall talk to you later.